John Osborne here. Let's go ahead with the FX Educational Outlook for June 5th, 2017. Let's we'll start out by looking at the pound US dollar. You can see we've got this trend line that we're watching right here and yesterday or during the day earlier on the 5th, we went up and touched that as a high and we're still kind of hovering waiting to see if we can break above it or not. So we're going to be continuing to watch this. I think I'm going to adjust the potential entry point here. And this one's too soon to be able to track to, uh, but we'll just keep an eye on the overall swing high pivot for a potential entry. You can also break, look for a break on the trend line itself. Right now that would be at about 1.29368 with your first target being the 1.30472 if it does go higher. However, we are not looking like it's ready to move higher. We're not seeing any green histograms here or anything. So let's just watch. Uh, don't, we're not going to jump on this one if it does break just yet. We'll keep an eye on it. The Euro pound was trying to make a run higher and but uh, during the day today it dropped back down and it went pretty much down to retest this this trend line that we have here across the tops uh, so at the open we're back here right on the line so let's watch what happens there you can see we're struggling to get above the 0.87864 on the weekly also in our bullish category we've got the euro us dollar but in this case we're definitely putting in a bit of a divergence here a bearish divergence as we appro approach the 1.12989 on the weekly so we can see we have a higher high than the previous high and our signal line on, on uh, the MACD is showing that it's losing strength so we're not getting the energy to push us higher. In the pending bearish area we have the dollar loony and it looks like we struggled to break above this previous pivot here it actually went up a little bit maybe up towards the middle of our Bollinger Band that we have here but then we're starting to make a move lower and we're still struggling along this uh, weekly trend line that we had here it's been broken but we're back sitting on it again and we're looking a little bit more bearish than bullish and kind of neutral on the daily for the US dollar yen we are looking for a break below the 110.233 which is this previous pivot here we're looking quite bearish at this point we had some pretty good bearish move over the last few sessions uh, so we'll be watching for breaking below that 110.233 as a potential entry if you'd like to take that one the Aussie Swissy is still moving lower but it has gone back and retested the broken support line that was broken here which is now resistance and we're going to find that true with most of our bearish markets here we're going back up and retesting the broken support you can see that on the uh, the pound yen and on the pound loony so we can see we're moving making a move back up again well we'll see what happens we're not ready to redraw our trend line just yet with the new pivot on this one with the dollar swissy you can see we broke through the weekly trend line and now we've already gone back up and retested it here in the first day of the week so um, let's see what happens as we go along and that'll do it for today you can follow me on stock twits and twitter under the name Trader John O and you can subscribe to the video and watch previous videos by clicking on the links that are showing up on the video now. Until next time, have a great day.